Hi, this is Lee Benz, the home scholar. And one mom recently asked me, can I teach chemistry? Um, of course you can. And I can prove it because I taught chemistry. <laughs> and that's how I know it can be done. Um, so one of the things you wanna be thinking about is that you don't necessarily have to know the subject in order to teach the subject. Um, you can use a curriculum that is intended for homeschoolers, a curriculum that assumes that you don't know the subject. Um, for chemistry, for example, if you use exploring creation with chemistry, it's a great curriculum. It assumes that you know nothing um, and you will be able to teach that subject because you don't have to know it before you start with your student. Okay? Another thing for you to think about is that you don't actually have to teach the upper subject areas. Um, your job is to make sure that your student learns the upper subject area. Uh, so there were some things that were uh, frankly so far beyond what I was capable of doing uh, that I had to pretty much leave my children to do it on their own. I struggled by with calculus, I mean with chemistry just fine, uh, but when it came to physics and calculus, I was way in over my head. Um, and after many tears, I determined that I really didn't need to teach physics or calculus. I only needed to make sure that they learned it. Um, and so at that point, instead of me struggling to learn along with them, I simply gave them the textbook and I gave them the video tutorials or whatever was available. Um, they had to learn it on their own. And then at the appointed time, I would give them a test. Um, usually I would take away the answer key. I would give them the test, take away the answer key, do my grocery shopping while they took the test, come back um, and grade it. Uh, now, when it came to those upper subjects, I really didn't even know what the symbols meant anymore. Uh, so their answer pretty much had to look exactly like the answer key um, in order for me to mark it correct, okay? Um, when it came to things like science and the science labs, like chemistry, biology, or physics, um, my job, again, was not to teach them the lab, but for them to read about it and do it on their own um, and learn on their own. Um, and so frankly, my job was to make sure that nobody blew up, okay? So that's my job with chemistry. Don't, don't anybody kill yourself, blow up, nobody stabs each other with biology, okay? Um, and so that's all that you really need to do. So, so two things, when you are faced with any kind of upper subject area, you wanna be reminding yourself, you don't have to know it in order to teach it. You just choose the curric curriculum carefully and you don't have to teach it. Your child just needs to learn it on their own. So let's think about what would happen um, when they get to college. When they get to college, their professor is not going to help them hold their hand like you've been doing in high school <laughs> earlier than this. Instead, it's gonna be more like what we were just talking about. The student's gonna have to learn it on their own and then they're gonna go in and take a test and, and hopefully nobody blows each other up in the chemistry room, right? Um, and so these are skills that um, are difficult for us to think, oh, I'm not teaching anymore. But it's really important when you get to college, kids simply have to learn how to learn on their own. And so when you get to this point in high school, that's a really good thing. That means that you're doing it right. I hope that helps.